Okay guys, um, we're going to do another refrigerator video. So I've done two of these so far actually and one of them was actually on a little fridge that um, that Jana used in our classroom. That was a thermostat replacement. On this very fridge uh, we did a PTC starter relay replacement and um, pretty much I, I, I'm kind of showing you how a lot of these mini fridges can be fixed for cheap. And um, this one, uh, this one that we put the new PTC starter in several years ago uh, has quit working again. And uh, we're going to take a look at it today and see what we can figure out. Okay, now this is the back side of the refrigerator and you'll notice, you know, I, I, on my other video I talked about the components. This is the compressor, this is the main piece. Behind this plastic box is two little components, a PTC starter relay and a um, overload protector. I want you to listen carefully. All right, what you just heard was um, one, one sound of a click and then another sound of a click. And that's coming from this area and it does it over and over and over. So uh, that's a little different than we had last time. Last time we had a warm compressor where it, it acted like it was trying to go, but uh, it just wouldn't start, it would never start at all. And we didn't hear any clicks. We're hearing some clicks. So that's actually a clue that it might be the overload in here. So that's what we're gonna take a look at closer. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, unplug it from the wall before I take this panel off. And then uh, we'll just uh, pop something in here. And... All right, so this top thing right here is the overload and this bottom black thing is the PTC starter. And remember, we replaced this on another video I made. I really want this to be the overload because then I will have fixed, I think, every single thing that can go wrong on one of these. So let's talk again about what all can go wrong. Uh, here's the uh, uh, schematic. And obviously this one is for a specific um, model here that uh, is that model. but but honestly, they're, they're almost all the same. From an electrical point of view, um, you've got the cord set, you've got a lamp, which is just a light, it lights up the inside. Um, there's a switch that turns the lamp on when you open the door. There's a thermostat, and I did a video on how to replace that and how to diagnose it. There's an overload protector, the compressor, and then the PTC starter. So I'm thinking that overload uh, might be the problem and that would be great because I would have <laughs> replaced every piece that you can replace on this except the compressor and the compressor is not worth replacing. Um, the thing of it is though just because the overload is clicking doesn't mean the overload's bad it could also mean that the compressor's bad and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna diagnose now. All right so now that we got these wires exposed and everything I'm just gonna find the uh, the cord where it comes in so here's where the power cord comes in from the wall socket and I'm just going to find the black wire, which is this one, and uh, we're going to take our ammeter here. We'll put it on uh, AC amps. We'll clamp that wire right there. Let's see what this does. And what we're looking at is the uh, total amps that the, uh, that the whole machine is drawing. Um, and then obviously, the only device that draws current in this whole machine is the compressor. All right, so now that that's plugged in, I'm just going to plug it back into the wall. All right, it's using about 5.6 amps, and we quickly heard a click, and then it uh, is using zero amps. So let's wait and see and watch this, uh, this current while that overload resets. Okay, so it's reset. We got about 5.6 amps again and it opened again. So what's going on here is it's trying to turn this compressor on and then it's staying on just for a second or two and then it's opening again because it thinks it's being overloaded. If we take a look again at this rating plate here at our um, rated current, um, it's supposed to be 1.5 amps. Um, so that five amps is way out of the ordinary, uh, which explains why that overload is clicking. 
my initial thought was I was hoping that um, that five amps was um, maybe not out of the ordinary, but when I looked at this and I saw it's supposed to be 1.5, yeah, looks like the compressor's bad. Okay, so looks like it wasn't uh, re repairable after all. That's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping it was going to be a bad overload. So that 5.6 amps or that 5 amps or so um, is much higher than the 1.5 amp it's supposed to be drawn. So that indicates that it's a bad compressor. I will tell you that I tried plugging in because I had them. I tried plugging in another PTC starter relay and another thermal overload and it didn't fix it. Uh, I did that just to make sure, but uh, for sure this has got a bad compressor in it now. And uh, like I've said before, on these small fridges, dehumidifiers, you know, small refrigeration systems, if you've got a leak or a bad compressor in the refrigeration system, just throw it away. It's not worth fixing. Um, I've actually looked into fixing those before. It's not worth the trouble. Uh, it is so much um, smarter to just go buy another one. So. Um, if that happens to you, you can do the same thing I'm going to do with this one, which is take it and uh, drop it off at my local recycling center and let them dispose of it. And I'm just going to go buy another one. So thanks for watching.